Well, a museum in the Netherlands is adding some excitement to its exhibits. Visitors will wear an augmented reality headset by Microsoft called a HoloLens. A holographic computer built into a headset uh, will allow them see, hear and interact with holograms at the museum. Viewers Deborah Block has more. The Dutch National Museum of Antiquities doesn't have enough room to put all its artifacts and exhibits on display. So the museum asked researchers at Delft University of Technology to find a way to let more visitors, especially younger people, experience what the museum has to offer through holograms. They came up with the HoloLens. Right now, 80% of the stuff that they have at the museum, they cannot show. So, uh, and that's a shame because there are so many beautiful artifacts and there are so many hidden secrets, so to speak, of the past that people cannot see. So by using the HoloLens, people can virtually visit the exhibit and see so much more. This includes exhibits like the ancient Egyptian temple of Tefa, which is not on display, but was reconstructed inside the museum in 1971. Right now I'm seeing a temple. I'm walking towards it. It's quite big. It has six pillars on each side, um, walking inside the temple. The HoloLens, it enables you to have an augmented reality instead of a virtual reality, which means you can still see the temple, you can still feel the, the, the ancient vibe around you, so to speak. Um, it doesn't shut you off from the outside world, and it just has a lot of uh, opportunities and possibilities for you to interact with your surroundings. The research team is also using the HoloLens to scan every room in the temple. And then we can get these 3D models and through different softwares we can replicate this in the computer and then add on features such as uh, different uh, images, movies, uh, uh, illustrations, animations, as well as uh, features where you can get closer, interact with. The program is still under development. But museum officials hope that, in the future, the HoloLens will serve as an interactive tour guide for exhibits that may be hidden from public view. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.